Hey everyone! How are you? I am making this pre-workout to talk because I'm very awkward. I don't see anybody on yet, so when you come on, can you just say hi to me, please? Thank you. Mm -mm. Uh -um. Hi Tara! Thank you! Whew. All right. So, it's kind of bright, but it's better than uh, dark. So, I just had to do like a tiny little workout because if you guys don't know this, I am probably the shyest person you'll ever meet in your life. Um, super introvert, but I do these things to to step out of my comfort zone because you know, imagine if I didn't, imagine if I didn't say yes to this opportunity, who I would still be working uh, 19 hour days. So <laughs> when I got asked, of course, I just say yes, I'm a yes person. Since day one, my coach told me to just be a yes person figure it out along the way so I got asked to do this and I was like yes you know I was like barf <laughs> so um, I will share a little bit about my story <laughs> before I was a coach um, like I said I was a shy little baby still am but I'm working through it okay um, <laughs> I honestly felt like I had no purpose in life I was one of those people that I don't even know if anybody else in the world does this but like I used to go for walks with um, like music in my ears to try to figure out who I was. That might sound dramatic, but I was like, probably was. So definitely like sad music. I'm like, who am I? But no, seriously, I didn't understand why I was put on this earth, um, like what my purpose was. Everything was so boring to me and um, I didn't have money to go figure it out. So I was um, a waitress. Um, even that was kind of scary to me because I actually like had to talk to people, but I did it and um, I moved on up to bartending and I was a bartender for 10 years. So um, while all my friends were going away to college, I was their bartender. Um, when they came home for like spring break or whatever break, I was their bartender and when they graduated college I was still their bartender and honestly that made me feel so stupid um it just kind of made me feel like a like a servant like and I had to put a smile on my face but it was hard I was actually known as like the bitch bartender I'm sorry if I'm swearing I'll try not to <laughs> um so I don't know I maybe five years into bartending I'm like cool I can't be doing this for the rest of my life. Um, so I didn't know about coaching. I didn't know about the opportunity. I honestly hated Facebook. I deleted people that took selfies. Um, I hardly ever posted. I probably posted like once every like six months when I went to a concert and I was drunk. So I, let's talk about that. <laughs> um, so I didn't know about coaching. And all I knew was that I liked making people feel good about themselves. I have three sisters and I always made sure their hair looked pretty and you know, they looked prettier than me when we went out because like I cared about how they felt. So I'm like, cool, I'm gonna be a hairdresser. And that was like a big deal because it was my time, my money. Um, I think I slept for like one or two hours every single night for a year because I just, I really wanted this to happen. I ended up being really good at it. I graduated first in my class and I got into the best salon in town. And then it like all settled and I was like, what? I don't love it. Shit. Um, you know, I don't want to live a life that I don't love. Shit. <laughs> so like what? I'm going to keep doing this because I'm paying student loans like stuck for life. That's what I thought because I didn't know about beach body coaching. I didn't know about this way out. So share your share it all the time. So these poor girls behind the phone or guys see their way out, like be that sign for them. So anyway, um, I didn't know about it. And um, I, I started just being like bad because um, I hated my life. Because you guys know that when you start a business, you don't make money right away, obviously. So like, duh. 
I had to not just be a hairdresser, I was a hairdresser, hairdresser and bartender. So I literally worked 19 hours a day when I first started this business. So when you come at me with, I don't have time, I literally am like, that makes no sense. Either you wanna make your dreams come true or you don't, end of story. So um, I'm sorry if I like sometimes forget what I'm saying. I'm not perfect at all. <laughs> so let's see, um, I started doing bad things. Like I said, I um, just because I hated my, my days, literally 19 hours a day feeling stuck, uh, my anxiety got worse and worse and worse. And to tell you the truth, before this, I, I never really knew I had anxiety. I knew I was like a shy, scared little baby, but like when people said they have anxiety, I was like, shut up. <laughs> And it just got worse and worse and worse. And um, I ended up getting really bad anxiety attacks when I was working. I don't know if you guys have it or how yours are, but I like couldn't see. Like shit would disappear and I couldn't feel my hands anymore. I'm sorry, but cutting hair with no feeling in your hands is dangerous. So I would literally have to be like, hey, can you hold on a second and go outside and like try to breathe. Um, same thing, you can't really leave your bar. You know, I, I was trying to hold like glass in my hand and I'm like, am I holding this or not? Um, it's just, it wasn't good. Um, so to get through my days, I, I bought Adderall off of people. Um, I don't have ADD, I don't think. I don't, um, not prescribed it. And um, that's just not, ex that's, it's not cheap, it's expensive. <laughs> So I would buy that to get through my days to be happy and smiley and have energy, blah. Um, and then at night I was a drunk bartender. That was me. And I ended up gaining a bunch of weight and I got meaner and meaner and my anxiety got worse and worse. And um, right around that time my sister was like, oh wait, hold on, hold up. Let me back it up for a second. Um, I was like going through the motions and some girl came into the bar that I haven't seen in a while and I'm super grateful for her slash can't stand her, but I should probably thank her. Um, she looked at me and she goes, damn girl, you got thick. And I was like, shit girl, you're right, I did. <laughs> you know, none of my sisters would ever tell me that. Um, none of my friends would ever tell me that. So I was like, thank you, appreciate that. So I did, um, <laughs> I was like 25 pounds heavier and that might not be a lot to you, but it, it was for me. Like I did not look okay. So, um, sorry I can't read the comments at the same time because scatterbrain. All right, so I had P90X um, because I can't do the gym. So yuck, I was just, I, like I said, I have anxiety. Like, just no. Um, so I had it and it was just sitting there for like years, probably like five years. I saw it from like an infomercial. So I was like, cool, I'm gonna do this and like do it all in. And like I said, I didn't know, I don't like Facebook and all that, so I told everybody I worked with. And I actually did it from start to finish. I never missed a day, but I was still bad. You know, I still took the Adderall and drank, but I still was happy, happy er, lost some weight. I was actually smiling and people were like, what's wrong with you? Why are you like, nice? I'm like, well, and I told everyone about it. Cause like, how can you not? Um, I think I lost like almost 10 pounds, which is really good. Obviously, if I went all in, I would, whatever. But um, I ended up helping like five people get P90X without knowing I could help them, I could get paid for that, or you know, make it a job. So right around then, now my sister goes, hey Haley, how's that whole hairdressing thing going? I said, it's not great. I wish I could work for Beachbody. And she's like, pretty sure you can. I was like, what am I supposed to do? Call up Beachbody and ask? <laughs> and she's like, no, I, I know some guy I met at a yoga studio who seems to be pretty successful. Sorry, I'm new to this whole pink hair thing. I'm just like, all right, um, he seems to be pretty successful. And I was like, she's like, do you want me to get you in touch with him? And he's, she was all like super into sales and like professional. And I'm like, not. So she's like, well, I'm getting in touch with him. Like, and I was like, sure, I don't care. So she like hooked me up on a Facebook message thing and, um, I signed up that day. I, I don't know, his name's Keith Callahan, I'm sure you guys know him. Um, Millionaire's Club, just my angel. <laughs> um, but, I don't know, I just like believed what he said, even though I think everything's out to get me, everything's fake, everything's a scam, but like I just like kind of believed him, and I ended up doing really well my first week. <laughs> I signed up like seven people my first week. I got diamond pretty quickly, I think it was like less than 60 days nowadays. It can happen, like, I can make it happen quick now, obviously, but 
60 days for me was really um, awesome. And then guys, um, I was one of those coaches that I was like, yes, I'm all in, 100%, like I'm a 10 out of 10, make my dreams come true, cool. And then I stayed diamond for a year and a half because I was a big baby. Um, I acted like I'm so tough, right? Like I'm tough. But it was like all like fake. I cared so much what people thought about me. Um, and like I could like pretend like I didn't, like I did pretend like I didn't, but I, did, I cared so much. When people deleted me, people had something to say, like it hurt me. So honestly, all I did was post on Facebook and call it a job. But the sad part about all this is, I truly felt like I was all in. I'm like, I am like, you know, crushing this thing. <laughs> and like when my husband would come home, I'd be like, I'm so busy today. Okay, like just posting and commenting back to people. Like when it came time to do the uncomfortable stuff, I was like, I gotta go do those dishes. They've been sitting there for hours. <laughs> Anything else but besides get uncomfortable. So honestly, I was like so over hearing myself talk. Like how many of you guys, I don't know how long you've been a coach for, but have been to Summit and you're like, I got it. Like next time I'm definitely gonna be a five-star diamond. It's definitely gonna happen. And then you're the same rank because you are scared. You're a little baby. You're not doing the uncomfortable stuff. Hi, that was me. Diamond, diamond. Um. Last year, I was like, I am not going to summit as the same mother effing rank. <laughs> Sorry, hashtag, no. Um, I couldn't. I was so embarrassed. So embarrassed. So, guys, like, I was just, um, it takes time. Like, this is a quick side note. In March, I was a one-star diamond. April and May, I went from one-star to eight-star, nine-star qualifying. <laughs> Insane, 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 but I made it in my head. I am gonna be a 10 star diamond at Summit. Aim high, guys, and stop talking. Do the work. I have right over here, um, like a thing in front of my uh, computer. Do your actions match your mouth, okay? So when you're scrolling, being stupid, just be like, wow, didn't I say I wanted to do this? Guys, time flies, you know? It's like Summit, right now, it's like Summit. So anyway, I had to move, oh I didn't have to move, I chose to move last September from Boston to North Carolina because I just can't do this now anymore. So I was like, cool, I'm a Beachbody coach, I can work wherever I want. Um, my husband was supposed to get um, <laughs> an awesome job and it just fell through and it was just me and my money and I was like, whoa, holy shit, I'm actually not making any money with this thing. Um, want to know why? Do you want to know a huge reason why I know I am successful now is because I got rid of my plan B. So yeah, I quit the hairdressing job because I was making some money as a diamond coach. I was making some. Mostly commission because stupid. I didn't even have a team because I didn't, I didn't, I just didn't try. Um, but I always had a plan B just in case I didn't make enough money in the bar. I would, I mean, with the, with the business, I would pick up a shift to the bar, which just so happened to be every single week. So when I moved, I was like, okay, cool. So uh, my husband's job fell through, it's just my money. I could either actually make this a business or um, go back to bartending. Me being a little baby, I applied at all the bars and I got all the jobs because I worked at the same bar for 10 years. Um, I worked at my favorite one and I trained for one day. They gave me my schedule and I was like, just started crying. I was like, wow, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. I don't want to work those days. I don't want to go in. You know, I want to be home with my husband. I don't want to have to call him to say goodnight. I don't want to just not be able to make dinner with him. Like wake up like at friggin' 12 o'clock. Like, no, I don't want that life anymore. So I just was crying, crying, crying. Like, I need to make this work. And um, I'm just like, remember that day. It was so sad, but I talked to my husband. I was like, I, I don't worry, I'll figure this out. And he said, don't worry, Haley. Yes, we will figure it out. And I said, no. We won't, I will, it's my business. I signed this up, I signed up, I gotta do this. So right then and there, I changed my whole business. That was a year and a half ago. Um, so my coach told me the only way to be successful with this business is through inspiration or desperation. Um, and I wasn't very inspired. I um, always had a plan B and at that time I was desperate. 
so um like guys if i can do this you can before this i never owned a computer i, I like i said i never touched facebook i hated selfies um my poor coach when he signed me up he sent me like a pdf and i'm like what the what is that i don't know what it is Teach me, I don't know anything. So if I could do this, guys, you can do it, but you have to be patient. Like I'm, now I've been doing this for three years. Like, but what? I was gonna work until I was 85, with my hands falling off. So three years is nothing to me. Keep going. Um, so I made this thing and I thought, you know, what are all these people doing that I'm not doing? Why are they successful and why am I not? And of course, personal development popped in my head first thing. Um, and uh, I'm not going to talk about personal development, it's really boring, but just like read every single day, don't miss a day. I don't, I can't honestly, my brain can't handle a chapter. <laughs> it can handle a page or two, and I take action on that page or two. Usually I make it a post, like this morning, added a little bit of something, something in there, free value, you're welcome. So um, I, I take action on what I read, I don't just read to read. But that's a huge uh, game changer for me. But um, like I said, I'm really scared and awkward and shy little baby. So I couldn't send out messages being like that in that headspace. So I made up something called the Gangster App Connections. And I'm sorry if you've heard this before. Um, but like this is what I talk about. And um, sorry about you. But it helped me and it changed my whole business. So this is what I do. This is my... like power hour sorry if I said it um, this is like what I do to like talk to people I hope you guys are writing this down um, so I take a notebook because I don't mess with computers okay I take a notebook and um, I open a new page up and I write GRC gangster rap connections it's that simple and I write a list down of 26 names because why there's 26 lines in a notebook. That simple. Um, you gotta blast music because if you're like, I just remember like trying to send out messages back in the day. Like, and if you're like in a quiet room, like no music on, you're gonna be like, what am I doing? I'm a beach body coach and I work on my phone. Like, I quit. This is weird. So no, you gotta set a timer, 20 minutes. Honestly, the list takes longer than the actual work. So if you set a timer for an hour, it'll take you an hour. You guys know that, right? Set a timer for a half hour, it'll take you a half hour. If you set it for five minutes, you can get it done in five minutes. Trust me, I've done it. So 20 minutes, I'm just saying a number. Um, but you write a list. Blast the music, and I say like, blast music because you want your attitude to come out. I'm pretty gangster, so <laughs> I want my attitude to come out. I'm tough, okay? I'm cool. <laughs> I want everyone to know that. Guys, you can be whoever you want to be behind the phone. Behind the computer, be who you are. Stop trying to be, you know, stop being your shy self. Be yourself. So fun when you are yourself. You talk to all the awesome people because you attract yourself. My team, all my team is me because I attract me. Um, now I do. <laughs> so um, let's see here. Blast whatever you want. It doesn't have to be gangster rap. And blast whatever makes your attitude come out, okay? It could be Celine Dion. I don't care. So, the list, okay? I'm like, kind of scared my phone's gonna die. But I when I started this, it was at 40 something. I hate how you can't check it. Uh, hope for the best, okay. So, um, the list. <laughs> you write a list down, 26 names. The f write this down, guys. Um, the first group of people are <clears throat> friends, friend requests that you asked yesterday. Cause you do your job now, right? And you friend request, correct? That list is usually small, one, two, three, five people. You know, not, not everyone says yes. So, um, friends, and I'll tell you what I say to all these people in a minute. Um, the next group of people are thank you messages. Um, that's usually big, you know, thank you messages from the day before. If you're doing your job and you're posting like a boss, you got plenty of people to thank for that. Thank you so much, I'll tell you in a minute. Um, and then the last group of people are randoms. So, you know how you are like seeing the same people all the time on your front, on your newsfeed or whatever? It's because like you don't reach out to people. So you need to um, go into your friends list and scroll past all the people you friggin' know and be like, wow, cool, I friend requested her a while ago. Who the hell is she? Um, 
Wow, I friend requested her a while ago. I was too scared. Wow, I haven't seen that girl in a hundred years. That's it. So 26 names, done. And then now this is what I said to him. The first group of people, the friends, actually, um, there's a rule. You can like, you can love, whatever, but you must comment or message. Shit, it's got 20%. It'll tell me when it gets to 10 and I'll put it in my charger. I think I'm fine now. Um, so you must, can I have a sip of this? Guys, hold on a second. Hold on, this is awkward. <laughs> um, okay, you must comment or message. You can like, but you must comment or message. So like when you're going to that person and <laughs> you see their name, you're like, oh, they didn't post in like three months. This is awkward. Do it anyway. Um, this is the hashtag that I am literally known for now. I have a, um, I have this uh, hashtag always near me, and it says hashtag Don't be a bitch. Hit send. Um, I was scared, <laughs> but it's a business. It's a business, guys. You're gonna like let these people like ruin your life, you know? Just understand that what's the worst is gonna happen. You're not gonna die. You know what? They're gonna delete you. Cool. Leaves room for awesome people. Like Facebook only allows you five thousand friends. So it's a business. You know, I don't want you guys regretting your life because of what other people think. Okay. Um, so don't be a bitch. Hit send. Do it anyway. And what I say to these people are the the new friends, the first group of people. Easy guys. I either do a comment or a message. Usually messages are always better. So when you're just feeling brave, just just do it. Hey girl, oh my god, I'm obsessed with your hair. What'd you get it done? <laughs> That's it. Hey girl, I, what kind of dog is that? I'm obsessed. I'm looking for a new dog. That's it. Oh my god, I love your necklace. Where'd you get it? I'm looking for new necklaces for my challengers. <laughs> um, that's it. Honestly. Questions. You guys know those all questions, so they have to answer me back. And if they don't, forget about them. Keep it moving. Um, that's why I got these tattoos. Keep moving forward. Seriously. Um, so the next group of people are thank you messages. If you're doing your job, you have a lot of people to thank. So this is like a generic thank you. It's definitely not my language. Just being like, but just for example, um, hey girl, thanks so much for the love and support. You have no idea how much it means to me. You know, being a coach sometimes can be um, scary and uncomfortable, but people like you make it worth it. Done. No question. Just thank you. I appreciate your love. Let it be just a thank you. Let it be. Let it be. Um, don't be like, how can I just like, how can I make this into like an invite? Be okay. If you're posting like a boss, trust me, it will be. So sometimes, most of the time, they turn into natural invites. Oh my God, you're so welcome. I love your post. I wish I could do that. I don't have any time to work out. What, girl? Are you crazy? I can't believe I didn't tell you about this thing. I just started a challenge group two days ago. I already lost two pounds. I only work out 20 minutes a day. I need to tell you all about this. You know? Um, or... I, w I thanks. Like, you're welcome. I wish I could do the business. I just don't have time. Are you, cr are you crazy, girl? I used to work 19 hours when I first started this, um, and now like, I got to do this full time. Let me pop you on a sneak peek really quick. See if it's something for you. <laughs> That's what I do all the time. Um, and then the last group of people, randoms, are just kind of the same thing. Oh my god, girl, I love your hair. Where'd you get it done? Or hey, girl, I. I like must have requested you a long time ago or something. I just saw your name pop up. Where are you from? That's it. Or like an old friend. Oh my God, I just saw your name pop up. How are you? I haven't talked to you in a hundred years. That's it. <laughs> and then let it, you know, let it be a conversation, you know, and if it turns into a natural invite, which you kind of can totally mind F them and make it work, um, which I'm gonna tell you about. So guys, that's it, 26 names, you're blasting music, you're having fun, you're being yourself behind the computer, and um, you're not caring, okay? You're not caring what people think about you. You're doing it anyways, okay? You're, you're hitting send regardless. And then you're gonna get people writing you back. Like, mm. And you're gonna be like, no, no, I'm doing my thing, no. I'm friend requesting, I'm gonna do my success club board, I'm gonna make a pose. Stop, you don't answer anybody back. Um, Unless like you really know for like a you just like really know they're gonna sign up that day, then you can do it. But no, like get your shit done. And um, the next day is when I do my connections. So I do it every other day, okay? Twenty six names connections. Twenty six names connections. 
Um, the, connect, all, the next day, all I'm doing is talking to all the people. All the people. <laughs> and I'm just saying, um, I'm doing the mind Fs. <laughs> so, you can be like, oh my god, girl, I am so sorry. It took me forever. I'm crazy making all these meal plans for my challengers. We start one day. Um, how are you? That's it. Meal plans for what? Are you, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't tell you about this. We start Monday, you know, a uh, bunch of us, whatever, whatever, getting together. And I know for a fact I can help everyone lose 5 to 15 pounds in a month. You trying to join us? <laughs> um, or like, I'm so sorry. I've been crazy making all these trainings for my coaches. Trainings for what? Oh my god, girl. I can't believe I didn't tell you about this opportunity. I am such a... Let me put you in this... The sneak peek really quick, see if something for you. I used to work 19 hours a day and blah, 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 blah. Um, cool, that's what I do. Uh, and guys, if it's a boring conversation, let them be. If they're like, you're welcome. They're like, cool, bye, you're boring. I wanna talk to you anyway. So um, talk to your people, <laughs> your people. If they're using emojis, having fun with you. Like, cool, I love this person. I wanna talk to you forever. Um, so, Guys, um, all right, I have one more favorite way to invite, oh shit, two ways. So, um, do you know how you go like, you're gonna obviously write down somebody's name the next day and you'd be like, wait, 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 I already thought, I already thanked this person, so forget about him. No, my number two thank yous are my favorite thank yous, are my favorite, I would say, second favorite way to invite, um, this is where I literally listened to Adele and wrote some scripts out and um, I shouldn't say scripts but I was actually writing back to someone and it worked perfectly and now it's a script for all of the people. It's just like straight up from the heart and like how could they, you know, I'm just trying to help. I just say like, I can't like think about it word for word but it's like, hey, hey girl, um, thank you so much for the love, um, no, hey girl, I see you giving me all the love, parentheses, please don't ever stop, but I have to ask you, like, are you interested in what I do, you know, health, fitness, are you trying to make it a business like I did, you know, I used to work 19 hours a day, and blah, 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 I know that you're a bartender, um, are you trying to, like, find your way out, like, just please know, I am, I can help you be that way out, um, can I just pop you in a sneak peek really quick to see if something for you? Mm. Do you know how many people? I have helped people that just got fired that day, just got laid off, were crying that day because they felt like they had no purpose and they didn't know which direction to go. Like I said earlier, stop thinking about yourself. That is honestly selfish. And think about these poor people behind the phone waiting for a sign. You got a sign. Be that sign for someone else. Stop, stop, stop thinking about yourself and think about those other people that don't know they can get results in 20 minutes a day. That don't know they can cure their headaches or stomach problems. You know what I mean? Like, or don't know they have a way out. Be that sign. All right, like I said earlier, <laughs> none of this works, guys, if you don't post like a boss. Um, so write this down. Um, being motivational is great. Good for you. It's so cool. Um, but it's not going to get you paid, okay? That is the, probably the most important, one of the most important things I said. Um, I have something really important to say after this. I can't forget. Um, I almost did. You need to um, invite with almost every single post. Go create me. I'm not saying like I'm the best at all, but go creep me and see that 98% of my posts have an invite at the end. So if you are talking about a workout, if you're trying to do any friggin' flexing thing, like trying to be like the rest of the world, you better do an invite in the, at the end of that. And I'm not saying, guys, groups don't sell, okay? Psychology and all that stuff doesn't sell. They have Team Beachbody coaches for a reason, you know? For you to, to share your story. So when I'm talking about a group, I am talking about some part of my story, why they should join and how I know for a fact I can help them change their whole life. When I make my posts, when I message people, I am so confident because you know, if I can do it, you can do it. You know that if they put the work in, they can change your whole life. If they put the work in, they can change your whole body. You know that. So don't like 
kind of maybe, you know for a fact you can hedge your life, so act like it. And then do a quick little invite at the end. Um, so what I almost forgot to say, which is like one of my, this is my favorite invite of all times, is um, going, go find your people on Instagram or Facebook, whatever. But last year at this time, guys, side note, I never signed up anybody from, from Instagram. The last two months I've been getting Success Club 50, 5, 0 plus, all from Instagram. So like I have an Instagram training that my success partner, Amber, taught me. It's changed my whole life, so I can give it to you guys. Um, or maybe she can go live in here. But um, so what I do is find my people or anybody that messages me. Like, so you guys use your Instagram story, right? You guys have to, don't. I'll tell you about that in a second. But um, all I do is find my people, say now I got pink hair. I'm gonna go find all the pink hair girls. <laughs> Look at the hashtag and say, oh, all I do is show them a little bit of love on Instagram, two girls holding hands, a friggin' engagement ring, question mark, soulmate, question mark, um, just being funny, you know, like, just being funny and making new best friends, um, or, you know, obsessed with your hair, oh my god, soulmate, or, I don't know, like, if you find some dog pictures, oh my god, we have the same dog, best friends, question mark, and then, um, I do a couple of, like, comments, likes, and then I go there, I message them and I say, girl, I just creeped your page for like five minutes straight. Are you a coach too? Question mark. And I say, coach, no, for what? Oh my God, girl. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't tell you this earlier um, or whatever you want to say. I, <clears throat> I, you know, I used to work 19 hours a day and now I do this full time. You'd be perfect. Like I was just creeping you for five minutes. I couldn't even help myself. Um, let me pop you in a sneak peek really quick, see if something for you. Done. A lot of my coaches guys are hairdressers and bartenders. <laughs> really, it's hilarious. And I love it, I love talking to my people. I could talk to them for hours and hours and hours. They're like literally my best friends. So anything, so when you go and do your Instagram story, you can see who views your stuff. And you can be like, hey girl, I just saw your name pop up on my story. Are you a coach too, question mark? So if I ever say that to you guys, sorry. <laughs> but seriously, um, yeah, that's a simple, simple thing. People are like, oh my God, I love your music when I'm doing my Instagram story. What station is it? I'm like, hey girl, hi, you a coach too? Done. <laughs> All right, um, my sneak peek crushes life. I have, uh, what do we got in there? Maybe 2,000 people now? So we run them um, monthly. We do a, lot, a couple of my success partners. We run um, a three-day sneak peek the first Monday of every month and uh, the live video so they can see how crazy, awkward, and not perfect we are. And um, I keep it open the whole month and then I, I am promoting it like crazy. So like I was talking about, like if you're talking about the workouts, you better be talking, inviting to a challenge group. If you're, you know, if you're talking about the business in any way, which guys talk about the business probably every single day. I mean, do you want to work for commission the rest of your life? Then keep talking about challenge groups. You got to switch it. Um, but if you're talking about any type of business, you got to invite to a sneak peek. You got to invite to a training. I blow up my sneak peeks. I blow up my trainings because guys, I didn't have that. Um, when I first started, I loved Keith Callahan more than anything, but he took the whole first year off of my business. I didn't have a tra like the, the trainings that we have now. So I have a training that took me a year and a half to figure out tears because I don't mess with computers, like crying. Um, and now I have a 10 day training for you. Just there you go. You're welcome. Like that's a huge deal to me. So I blow up my sneak peeks. I blow up my trainings. I blow up my challenge groups. I make them huge deals because they are. Um, but, uh, I know this is, like I said, all over the place. Sorry about that. Um, another thing, let's see. Sorry, done. Another thing um, about this, you guys, if you are, you attract, you get out there, like I was just saying, if you talk about only challenge groups, you're only gonna get cha uh, challengers and stuff. I know eventually some of them turn into coaches, but like, do you wanna work for commission forever? No, that gets old, you're gonna get burnt out. So like I said, flip it to the business. I don't care, talk about the little stuff. Talk about how you made $50 and for the first time 
in the grocery line, you weren't sweating giving them your card because you made money from helping people. Talk about the little successes. Stop comparing. Um, thank you. <laughs> so now, if you talk about how this business is easy, you're going to attract quitters. I did that, and I attract some quitters, and it's totally fine. I'm going to keep it moving. You know, they're going to keep doing their thing, and I'm going to keep doing mine. Um, but I now always let people know how hard this is. Like, before this call, I almost had a heart attack dying. Um, I had to do a live presentation in front of actual people a couple weeks ago. I cried for two hours straight before I went on. So scared. So, um, you gotta let people know it's hard. People quit, you know. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes time and patience. Now when people come at me about the business, they always say, Haley, I know this is gonna take a lot of hard work, but I'm ready for it. That's why I have all these awesome people now, because I know it's going to take a couple years. But what is a couple years of your life? All right, um, now, um, all right, now I can talk about attraction marketing. Hi everyone. So, um, let's see here. Attraction marketing, I'm not gonna talk too much about Instagram, because like I said, my success partner, Amber, I really want her to, or I can send you the link. I'm telling you, this is really important. Um, photos matter, <laughs> duh, it's attraction marketing, guys. People's attention spans nowadays are like that big. Go look at your husband or wife or your friends scrolling through Facebook. Just look at them. They're not going to stop at a dark picture of you in a room. They're not going to stop at the same friggin' flex photo or Shakeology cut. Um, you got to stand out, guys. You got to stand out. Shit, I'm at 10%. Um, uh, I'm almost done. So, um... You gotta laugh, you gotta have fun with this. Um, do things that are different. So if you guys always wear your hair down, put it up for a second. You know, be different. If you always wear makeup, take it off for a second. If you don't have glasses, put some on. I don't care, buy fake ones. Um, dye your hair pink. I literally do it for the likes. That's why I did that. The more likes you get, the more people you can thank. The more people are gonna be attracted to your page. Guys, I am not shitting you. I literally did this for the likes. Do it for the likes, my whole team. <laughs> um, I have a pizza tattoo. Hashtag do it for the likes. That's just extreme. But seriously, um, you know, if you... <sighs> just be different. Be different, okay? Once in a while, be different. Um, I think I buy... I'm known for, like, pizza. Do you think I buy these pizza shirts for myself? No, I do it for the likes. Um... <laughs> I'm dead serious. It works. Um, the more people that like your stuff, the more people that are going to follow you, the more conversations you can have. Just do it. So now, um, smile, guys. When you're doing your Instagram story, smile. Have fun. Honestly, to me, uh, a before and after picture is not as attractive to me than a huge ass smile. People are literally messaging me all the time. Oh my God, you're... Your smile is so attractive. Your energy, your energy, your energy. Oh, really? It's because I'm literally making myself laugh in a window. Um, so lighting, lighting matters. If you're gonna take a picture, take it in front of a window. I don't care, but try not to do the same window every friggin' day, because to me, another thing, that's too much. I saw that yesterday, you know? Wasn't she right there yesterday? No, done, passing it. Not gonna read what you have to say. So go into different windows, take different pictures. If you go into the beach, Bring five outfits so you have all the pictures backed up for yourself. Um, put a hat on, take it off, you know, um, and make yourself laugh. Make yourself laugh. Do me a favor in the next week, make yourself laugh in your pictures. When you're doing your Instagram story, laugh. Put your Pandora, Pandora on and have fun during your workouts. Who the hell would want to join you if you look like you're struggling, hating life during your workout? Not me. That's awkward to watch. Have fun. And then always invite, always invite. I'm always like, I'm telling a quick story, you know, like about my hair. And then I'm like, cool, I'm gonna do a couple moves for you guys. Today's day 11 out of 21. My next group starts this date. You guys better get your ass in there. Stop just watching me. And then I do like a quick boomerang saying, my next group's this date, like two girls holding hands and a phone, reach out, reach out. But again, if they're watching me, I'm like, girl, I saw you on my story. Are you a coach too? Um, <laughs> all right.
that's it. Um, when you're doing your post, like, always have a call to action. Don't just say, like, message me anytime. Comment below or send me a message. I have 25 spots available. I would love to help you. From the heart, guys. From the heart. Whoo! All right, guys. I think that is it. Be yourself. Have fun. And hashtag don't be a bitch. Hit send. <laughs> all right, guys. I think that I can't read all this. That would be pretty awkward if you guys are just, like, staring at me reading. So I will answer the questions after this. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the love. Bye, guys.